Thanks for tuning in to Essential RC. Always looking to do interesting things on, on the channel to keep you entertained. I've been really enjoying flying uh, the Flywing FW450 version 3 helicopter. Done quite a few videos on this now. Uh, flying, uh, flying it aerobatically, showing you the automated features of it because it's got GPS, flying figure eights, return to home, flying automated circuits, even flying it inverted at the flick of a switch. Very clever stuff. Um, and then converting it into more of a scale helicopter by retrofitting this Airwolf fuselage, which was very easy to do. Takes 15, 20 minutes to do that. And then thinking, what should I do with it next? Now, something I've always wanted to do is add FPV to a uh, RC helicopter. And it just so happens that Cadex got in contact with me and said, would I like to try out their new uh, Walk Snail Avatar uh, HD FPV system of course i said yes so i've retrofitted that to this airwolf so starting off by looking at how i've installed the video transmitter and camera inside the fuselage so let's take off take that off and you can see the vtx the video transmitter i have velcroed to the side here and this is the camera. And the camera I've just mounted on a, a bit of Velcro on the, the battery tray tab that you push down and then pull out the battery on the tray. You've got the two aerials here, probably should separate those so they're pointing in different directions. And then just put a, um, on the, uh, the, uh, the positive and negative out of leads out of the video transmitter I put a DuPont connector so I can connect that into the balance lead of the the flight battery for the helicopter really simple now this has got on board 8 gig of uh, memory I think to capture uh, video footage onto and this is um, streaming HD 1080p 60 frames a second to the goggles the FPV goggles or you can also do 720p 120 frames a second I think four kilometers range also on this system although that would obviously take me way out of a uh, visual line of sight which is important to stay within over here in Europe and the UK these are the the goggles which I have tried on and tested out and they're very snug fitting very clear display, OLED display, um, really fantastic image. And then to show you what I've done inside the, for the, uh, for this canopy that fits on the fuselage, obviously I've cut out the windows, so from inside I get a nicer view to the outside world, and I've spray painted it black inside as well, to reduce on uh, reflections and uh, all that. But then I want it to look a bit more scale, so I've got this nice little um, cutout of a helicopt helicopter uh, cockpit as well that I can just push inside the, uh, the fuselage and should uh, be seen just below the windows in the, uh, in the cockpit. So let's not hang around, let's get in the air and see what it looks like when it's flying. Right, so uh, that did not work. I have to say I was feeling quite queasy after about 30 seconds because of the, uh, the vibration. So um, yeah, it didn't crash, didn't crash. Here it is, it's still in one piece, but I did land fairly rapidly after that first flight because of the vibration. So Jay's on camera today, he couldn't come down that first, that first day that I flew it. And we, we, uh, we had a chat and Jay's got some ideas as to why I got that vibration the first one is I hadn't balanced the blades and this is kind of my first proper 
RC helicopter. So Jay, balancing blades really important to minimise vibration? Yeah, just like a prop on a plane, you know, if we're trying to get rid of the vibration. So I found a video, guidance on how to balance you. The first thing you do is have to make sure they're the same weight. But then when you add that weight, which is basically a little bit of tape to make the lighter blade the same weight, you add it in a, in a position to make sh to give it the same center of gravity as the other blade. So you balance it on a sharp on a sharpie blade or a razor blade or or something like that. So I did that after watching a video on how to do it. Um, Jason also mentioned tracking as well. Um, tracking you can't, which could cause vibration if it's yeah, out. Basically, tracking. one you said that's uh, no. I'm new to helis. Some of you out there probably know what this is, but I didn't. So it's when one blade travels higher than the other correct and there's turb one leaves the turbulence that affects the the other yep. causes um vibration so uh now unfortunately not adjustable ball links on these so we can't do anything about that so there you go the and the third thing you said jay is that when i'm, I'm flying in gps mode then that may be doing something potentially yeah because it's it's making loads and loads of micro corrections all the time because obviously trying to keep a heli upright is a task if you haven't got a gyro um and it's making loads and loads of corrections so yeah wondering if it's sort of servo oscillation on the swash plate okay so we'll you'll fly it we'll try it in gps mode and then flick to 3d mode yeah fly it in manual mode i'm not sure we'll see the vibration on the goggles but we'll see it in the we'll, video later. We'll yeah. see. Um, but we'll, we'll definitely shot. See, yeah, in the, yeah. see in the video later. Um, and Maybe if, your blade balancing has cured it. We don't know. Well, we don't know until we actually try. So th there we go. So we've, we're have we doing as much as we can to uh, solve the problem. Um, again, it's the Cadex uh, Walk Snail Avatar FPV HD system. Uh, same, we haven't changed that and how, and how it's mounted because I don't think that's the problem. So we're going to get Jay to wear these and uh, and fly it and see how we do. Let's go. So. So I'm wearing the goggles. Let me have a quick look. You check the vibration out. Yeah, <laughs> still vibration. Is it? Can you try, do you want to try it into? Uh... Yeah, hold on. Oh, that's even, that's even worse. Is it worse? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, we dear. tried. Well, maybe yeah. FPV. I've got back into GPS now. Okay, yeah. Less vibration, lower head speed. <laughs> That's a shame, huh? It is a shame. So it's still a balance issue, I think, then. Yes. So part three, maybe, where we continue to try and get rid of vibration. Yeah, I don't know what else we can do, I think. Mm, trees. What do we do then, Don? Land. Land, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we tried, right? <laughs> well, okay. So I think it was um, a little better. A little bit better, but not a lot. So yeah, that didn't work either. <laughs> How frustrating. Um, so it was even, Jay, even when in you you were flying it and it, you went into 3D mode, the head speed went up and it was the even worse. Got worse, yeah. I actually threw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it, was, it was terrible. So the one thing I hadn't done because I was lazy was left it velcroed and now I have actually solid mounted it, glued it to that tab that is on that, the, of that tray 
for the battery. And what they do give you in this um, walk snail avatar uh, bundle is they give you this little mount here. And you said, Jay, that you said that's what drone pilots use. Yeah, you that's to put it in a frame usually. Put it in a frame. So I've used that, I've glued, glued that in, not the camera itself, obviously. So we'll give that a go and see if this is the, this is it. This is the third third attempt, and if this doesn't this doesn't work, then I don't think FPV on helicopters is a goer, to be honest. And I probably won't publish this video at all because it would be embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, here we go. Let's let's try it and see if we've got rid of the vibration just by solid mounting the camera. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> Oh, Jay, that's much better. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, to me, through the goggles, that looks fantastic, actually. That's made a huge difference. Oh, wow. I thought fixing it with a bit of solid fixing might yeah. be better. Yeah. So it was all down to it being solidly mounted to, to the... Oh, brilliant. I was getting a bit, di <laughs> I was getting a bit disappointed by the... The whole the whole project because of that but that's a revelation i want to have a go now <laughs> well we'll we'll do that let's uh just get a bit of altitude on this flight and i won't use the whole battery i'm just going to do a quick circuit and then hand over to you so you can do a bit of flying fpv stuff just have a look around the strip cue airwolf theme music <laughs> <laughs> I'll swap you there. Wow. <laughs> yes. Three, third time, third attempt and uh, got it sorted. So that was a test flight. I wasn't flying at FPV, but I did while I was in the auto circuit, had a look through the goggles and it looked much, much better. So now let's give it to Jay and he can go and take it for a bit of long range flying. Oh, Jay, that's much better. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, to me, through the goggles, that looks fantastic, actually. That's made a huge difference. Oh, wow. I thought fixing it with a bit of solid fixing might yeah. be better. Yeah. So it was all down to it being solidly mounted to, to the... <laughs> <laughs> 